but Kamala essentially is sent on this journey from the grandmother. She's like, I don't know anything. Come here, go figure it out yourself. Yes. And she eventually <laughs> runs into the Red Daggers, right? And then the Red mm. Dagger is a very prominent character in Kamala's comic book and history. But in the story here, I really enjoyed like seeing the the secrets and like this order that was here to protect them. They're aware of the Jin. It's not just a family thing. There's more people involved. It's bigger than just Kamala and Kamala's family. The fact that there's a dimension like right on top of our own, and there's this weird, cool map that shows like this alien kind of like technology city it reminds me almost of the deviants from the eternals the way the organicness of the building looks yeah which is really cool to see uh it's unfortunate that one of the red daggers did die i i, I was rooting for him i didn't think he would die yeah i was too because i was hoping he would be like the guy who trains kamala or yeah. like answers a bunch more questions but i did love seeing the red daggers in this almost as like Reminded me of an Assassin's Creed guild, right? A Creed, yeah, a little like bit. A Creed Brotherhood of Assassins that are, you know, maybe they have like different spots all over the country or something. So Kareem in the comics is the Red Dagger in Marvel yeah. Comics. It's not a guild. It's just him. He kind of protects Pakistan streets at night. He in the comics goes to Jersey City and becomes a foreign exchange student to get some credits. And he kind of helps mm -hmm. Kamala out there. He stays with her family. So there is that connection. But I love what they did with the show where they expanded it. And we had this great, like, internal guild. I really want that sand computer, that oh, 3D sand. Whatever that is. That thing whatever is the insane. hell that thing is. But I do think there is an underlying toe Easter egg something of this dimension, Rob. And and I thought of a couple things the, the yeah. second it popped up. The first thing I thought of was Secret Wars, was Battle World. Oh, like, interesting. dimensions and worlds colliding. All this stuff where... You know, Battle World in the comics is the place where all these different places from different planes of existence collide, and you have different versions of a billion of these Marvel characters. So I can Kamala see that right down the line. You know, Kamala was obviously born in this plane of existence. I think she is a 616 character, yeah. but her family lineage is from somewhere else. So that's why this power is starting to manifest and, and kind of control her and, and physically affect her the way it does. You mentioned that Kareem, you know, goes foreign exchange, comes back to America, Jersey City, they hang out and do all that kind of stuff. Do you think that's going to also happen in the MCU? Because I we're at a point now where I, we're gathering teenage superheroes. Why not have another one with this like kind of ninja skill set, which I think would be really cool to part to see them work together with Hawkeye and all this kind of stuff. If they're building this young Avengers team, which it kind of seems like MCU is kind of building all these little startup of teams throughout the entirety of the universe. Or do you think he's just going to stay in Pakistan? He's going to do his own thing. And, you know, we're just going to see him in Miss Marvel uh, properties. I think he's just going to be mostly Miss Marvel for now. He's not that big of a character yet. Even True. the Miss Marvel comics, right? He's kind of like a, a side character. But I do think it's going to be integral for while she's in Pakistan, right? We didn't see Bruno at all in this episode. We didn't no. see, you know, any. We didn't see my favorite character, Kamal's dad. You know, like all those characters and her brother are still in Jersey. So... I think when Kamala goes back to Jersey, I don't necessarily think he's going to go. I think he's going to have to kind of, you know, be the person who, who continues the guild sure. of Red Daggers and, and figures that out there. And also, we have a lot of characters we have to deal with back home, right? We have the Bruno situation. Did he go to Caltech? Yeah. We have also Kamran, who is someone who is, we don't know really what's going on with him right now. He was left behind. So there's a lot of stuff to figure out at home. But I think right now, it's, it's almost like that Moon Knight scenario, right? You're kind of out setting over, him up for later kind of deal. Setting him up for later out of your comfort zone in a new place yeah. and figuring out kind of the backstory.